critical decision in the life of a passive house is windows. And so there's a lot of thought put into the location and sizes of the windows, as well as the uh, manufacture of, of the windows. So for this project, we used Intus windows, and these were manufactured in Lithuania. And they're made from unplasticized PVC, and they're very uh, high quality windows, you'll see. These are a tilt turn window, and so they're able to tilt in for ventilation and security, or when you know how to operate them, uh, turn in to allow a great deal of air movement in and out of the house. So you can see the thickness of this window. It is a triple pane window, and the thickness of the glass is, is remarkably thick. So they've created a, uh, insulated a, a gas-filled space uh, that's, that's pretty deep, and that's how these windows achieve the insulative value that, it, that they do. Part of the passive house design is to work with a certified passive house consultant who goes through the design and actually comes out to the job site, does a solar finder at each window location before we've even broken ground to determine how much sunlight will be coming through each and every window so that we can model how much solar gain will be coming through each and every window in the house. With that design, with that window design, we've focused a majority of the glazing on the south face of the house where we're bringing in light. The best, even the best windows such as these that meet passive house standards are still much less uh, insulative than even an average wall. And so uh, those windows need to be used strategically and by placing the majority of the glazing on the south side, we're actually getting more heat energy out of the sun and passive solar heating than we're losing through the insulation of the windows. So the windows for this project are actually energy creators, energy generators for the project. So this window in the bedroom is an east facing window and so we've minimized the glazing size on some of the other walls so that we can maximize the glazing on the south side. Okay, so here you see an extravagant amount of glass and this is on the south side and so we're actually getting heat, passive solar heating. Part of the energy model was to locate outside of these windows every tree and to determine exactly how much sunlight, how much shading will occur every day of the year at this specific location.